This is Hai Long Liu, from Nagoya University, Japan. I would like to introduce our study, Importance of Instruction, for Pedestrian Automated Driving Vehicle Interaction, with an external human-machine interface. In this study, we will discuss the effects of instruction, on pedestrian situation awareness, trust, perceived risks, and decision making. Autonomous vehicles are expected to be widely used in the near future. However, the level 3 to 5 AV, lacks a useful explicit communication method with pedestrians. Because the driver does not participate in the driving task. Especially, when they need to negotiate the right of way up close. This lack makes pedestrians, difficult to understand the intentions of the AV, quickly and clearly. It also causes potential issues, such as safety hazards, inefficiency, and poor prosociality. To solve the above problems, a novel communication approach, using an external human-machine interface, EHMI, can be viewed as one of the solutions. Various studies have evaluated the efficacy of EHMI, for presenting the intention of an AV, to pedestrians, such as using light bars, virtual eyes, smile, and text. Although these studies advocate good EHMI designs, these EHMI cannot guarantee that, the pedestrians will fully recognize the intention of the AV, fully understand the rationale behind the AV's intention, and perceive limitations of AV's functional abilities, especially those who do not have considerable experience with EHMI. So, the problem of EHMI is that, if pedestrians are difficult to understand the intention of the AV, and difficult to predict what the AV will do, through the information displayed on the EHM, then, they may feel confused, and dangerous. Even accident may happen in certain situations. For example, pedestrians may think. What does the light bar flashing mean? Why the car is looking at me? Why the car smile? Does it say hollow to me? The car tell me to go, but can I trust it? For this problem, we propose using an instruction to help pedestrians. Understand the correct intention of the AV through EHMI, correctly predict the behavior of the AV, indirectly improve the experience of interacting with AV. For this purpose, we focused on the decision-making process of pedestrians. Refer to a decision-making model, proposed in my previous study, it contains three main parts, situation awareness, risk homeostasis, and decision-making. Based on this conceptual model, we consider that, if pedestrians correctly understand the rationale of EHMI, then, the EHMI on AV, can help them, to enhance comprehension of AV intention, and prediction of AV behavior. Moreover, their subjective feelings, and decision making, during the interaction, could be improved. Therefore, we propose, by using instruction, to help pedestrians, to build the correct mental model of AV with EHMI, it could improve pedestrian situation awareness, trust, perceived risks, and decision making. To verify our proposal, we conducted a Wizard of Oz experiment in a parking lot. There were 32 participants participated in the experiment. A story pressing close to life was told to the participants. You drive your car to a shopping center and park it in the parking lot. You need to cross a road to get to the elevator. Please walk at a normal speed during this process. When you cross the road, a manual driving car, or an autonomous car will arrive. You should be mindful of it when crossing the road. The AV is a driverless car. It is equipped with advanced built-in sensors, that can detect pedestrians, and the surrounding environment, such as roads and the stop line. Note that this is false information. For both of the MV and AV, the car will stop before the stop line. After stopping, the car will decide, whether to depart from the surrounding situation. Besides, a left-hand drive car was used as the experimental vehicle. Note that, cars in Japan are right-hand drive. In order to simulate an unmanned driving car, an expert driver, as the real driver, was hidden behind on the left seat, by mirror film. And, a dummy steering wheel was installed on the right side. Moreover, a message-based EHMI was designed. 
the EHMI device is set behind the right side of the windshield. A message, Udgokimasen, is displayed after car stopping. There are two reasons of using this message. 1. We do not want the car to command pedestrians because of liability. 2. This message can help us compare the effectiveness of the instruction, because it has a vague meaning in the specific context of Japanese. To simulate the order of the condition, how EHMI and AV spread out in the market, four scenarios are designed. First, the participant interacted with the MV, five trials. In this scenario, a dummy driver, sits on the right seat, and hold the steering wheel, to imitate a real driver. After car stopping, the dummy driver use a handed gesture, to tell the participant please go ahead. The car departs after the participant crosses the road. The second scenario is the interaction with the AV without EHMI. The dummy driver does not sit in a car. And the EHMI is not installed on the car. The car departs after the participant crosses the road. In this scenario, the participant can only understand the intention of AV, through the implicit communication, based on the behaviors of the AV. The third scenario is interaction with an AV with an EHMI. The EHMI was installed behind the right side of the windshield. But the dummy driver does not sit in a car. After car stopping, the EHMI shows the Ugikmasen. Then, the EHMI will blink twice in two seconds after the pedestrian crosses the road. After blinking, the EHMI is turned off. And, the AV departs. The next is the instruction. It contains two kinds of information, the information that helps participants understand the driving intention. And the information that helps participants predict the behavior of the AV. They were told that, when the AV detects the pedestrian, the message, Ugikmasen, will be displayed on the EHMI, after car stopping. This message indicates that, the AV will not move. The EHMI will blink twice in two seconds, after the pedestrian crosses the road. Blink indicates that the AV will depart. After blinking, the EHMI is turned off. Then, the AV departs. After confirming that the participants understood the content of the instruction, the participant interacted the AV with EHMI 5 trials again. We hope, after the instruction, pedestrian situation awareness, trust, perceived risks, and decision making could be improved during interaction with the AV. Based on the concept model, the participants were asked to use a five grade evaluation scale to answer six questions, after each trial. Q1 is that, was it easy to understand the driving intention of the car? Q2 is that, was it easy to predict the behavior of the car? Q1 and Q2 are used to evaluate the comprehension and projection steps in the situation model. Besides, Q3, Q4, and Q5 are used for evaluating the factors in the risk evaluation. Q3 is that, did you feel the behavior of the car was dangerous? Q4 is that, did you trust the car when you crossed the road? Q5 is that, did you feel a sense of relief when you crossed the road? The Q6 is that, did you hesitate to make decisions when you crossed the road? It used for evaluating the hesitation to make decisions for crossing the road. There are results of six questions. If the results of MV, as a baseline, we could see that, when participants interacted with the AV, without an EHMI. They thought that, the driving intention and the driving behavior of the AV, significantly became more difficult to understand and to predict. This result led to a significantly deteriorate, in participants' sense of safe, trust in the AV, and a sense of relief. Finally, they thought, they significantly became hesitant to make a decision, for crossing the road. These results also showed the problems, that might arise, if the AV and pedestrians negotiate without EHMI, at close distance. On the other side, when an EHMI installed at the AV, participants thought that the driving intention, and the driving behavior of the AV, significantly became easier to understand and to predict, than when they interested with AV, 
without the EHMI. Meanwhile, participants sense of safe, trust in the AV, and a sense of relief, during crossing the road, were significantly improved. Therefore, most of them, did not agree that, they hesitated to make a decision, for crossing the road. This result directly shows that EHMI, could improve the interactive experience of pedestrians, when they encountered with the AV. Last, when participants encountered the AV with the HMI, after instruction. They thought that, they were further easier to understand the driving intention, and predict the driving behavior of the AV, significantly. Their evaluations were even better than when they encountered the MV. Although compared with their evaluations before the instruction. The sense of safe, trust in the AV, did not improve significantly, except for the sense of relief. Their positive evaluations for them were higher than encountering the MV. Meanwhile, the hesitation to make a decision for crossing the road, only had a small improvement from instruction before. The above results show that the instruction could improve participants' understanding and prediction for the AV. This also indirectly improved their trust in AV perceived risks, and decision-making. In this study, we found some problems worthy of vigilance. Without the explicit communication, participants were difficult to understand the driving intention, and predict the driving behavior of AV, their subjective feelings deteriorated significantly, and they became hesitant to make a decision for crossing the road. We also found the benefits of using EHMI. It can solve the above problems and significantly improve the experience of pedestrians to negotiate with an AV. Last, we consider that the instruction is important for pedestrians' interaction with an AV, because it can help them, establish a correct mental model of the EHMI on the AV. And, it can help them, to correctly understand the driving intention, and predict the driving behavior of the AV. Moreover, instruction can improve the subjective feelings and decision-making of the pedestrians, towards the AV, reaching or even surpassing, the experience of interacting with the MV. In the future, we will further research, the influence of instruction, on the behaviors of participants, by analyzing the recorded videos of them crossing the road. And, we will refine the instruction, and analyze the influence on pedestrians, such as, providing instructions for cognition and risk evaluation. Thanks for your attention.